based on your experience in building a business in the digital space, what is that one thing that you tell the people here to go up to to become successful? I think I say it so often, it sounds like a broken record, but it's several things of life. You need to solve a problem. So you're a blogger, right? How many of us know about Twitter? I do. Anybody? You can amaze the power of Twitter. On Twitter, you can have specific engagements targeted at financial services, fashion, whatever. So why don't you be specific? As a blogger or a blogger, why don't you come to a realm where I'm going to solve a problem maybe dedicated to education, child abuse, whatever you want to call it, and focus on that and build that. So that's the first thing. That's solve a problem. That problem is bringing an awareness of something to everyone. Or you can take fintech and create that realm of fintech use. So you're bringing awareness. And the second thing is you've got to be consistent. The hard days will come. In fact, the brutal days will come. There will be days when you'll be so down you want to give up. But don't give up, just be consistent. So solve a problem, be consistent, and in that process, collaborate with the partner, and you'll be able to monetize. If you can do this three, write it down in the library, you do it. Because it's, it's, it's a function of time. Very well. I would love to be coming to the end of this one. But you mentioned something at the end, which got me curious. Are you a rich one? I hope I am. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, it's by definition. Okay. So while it's a function of definition, the guy who has one cent and gets two dollars is one. The guy who has two dollars and gets a hundred dollars is one. The guy who makes a million is one, right? And in my case, I'm aspiring to be useful to society. Okay. So if your bank account went seven, what would be your first action? I won't bother my because I have you. Have you? Yeah, I have you. That's for your wealth. That's a great answer. Would you would you rather be a CEO? You're a CEO now, but would you rather be a CEO or a shareholder? I think from the lessons I've learned, I'd rather be a shareholder. <laughs> Why? I don't have to report. Look, as a CEO, you report to the board. A lot of people get it wrong. They think that once you're a CEO, you don't know. You have to be the first to be at work because you don't have to sit You report to a board. You have a chairman. You might not have a view with you, but it's just like if you have a majority or not. It's not a chairman. You might not have a view with you. You have to focus that chairman. You have to focus all the other points. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Apart from that, if you have investors, you have to make sure that you always have something called evidence. Evidence is the most whatever. You need to always make sure that you're ever at a certain margin. So you can't spend some kind of money. So all of that, with all that pressure, and making sure your team is cohesive, there's a lot of cohesion. You're in the right direction, you're profitable. I'd rather be a shell that come to come to show and take your money and just yeah, and that's the money and <laughs> okay. The last one, the last one before you go. Um you work you can create well. You'd like to consider yourself a wealthy man. So if you have a lot of money and you know you were to make a will, would you rather leave your kids with everything that you have or leave them with nothing? Well, frankly speaking, my father left me with something, so I have to give my kids something. I believe in the concept of building for home. Right. But I think that, so to correct you, my wealth is by virtue of the fact that I have him. It's not because of God. It's my wealth is the fact that I have him. You see, once you have a self belief, and your self belief is able to integrate into society, then you're wealthy. Because you'll be able to survive. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's why yeah. your average guy will come from the village and sell coconuts on the tree or under the tree. And eventually will sell tons of coconuts and a town from one of the coconuts back. You understand? Because he has himself. So just to correct you. Secondly, I think that as parents that we become, we need to build our children. I, I, I find that something we don't do in this country is we don't teach our children to talk and solve. So we need to teach them to problem solve, because when they problem solve, they'll be wealthy. Everybody wants a guy who can solve a problem, right? right. That's true. Um, let's give him a round of applause. Uh, we started, so we started, with, we started with a question from the audience. We'll end one question from the audience. One.